making his way back to the call room as we prepare for the gold medal match and it's another de Klerk from South Africa going up against his teammate Richard Anderson Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the archers to the field. On target one, representing South Africa, Christian Bayer of Stuttgart. Sur la cible numéro 1, représentant l'Afrique du Sud, Christian Baird de Clark. And on target 2, also representing South Africa, Richard Anderson. Sur la cible numéro 2, Richard Anderson, aussi représentant l'Afrique du Sud. And the judge for this competition is Emra Mansour. Amira Mansour. Le juge pour ce match est Amira Mansour. Amira Mansour back out uh, on judging duties as uh, Christian de Klerk takes on Richard Anderson in this all South African compound men's African Championship gold medal match. Uh, Christian Byers de Klerk is his full name. Uh, any relation, Chris, to the fourth placed athlete? From one Byers de Klerk. So, no, no, this is father and son. Oh, the four son with the chance of the win here in Pretoria. Ten. Richard Anderson gets us underway with a shot straight into the middle of the target. Confidence boosting sighter, that one. Ten. Matched by De Klerk. So a cracking start, and they are shooting very quickly indeed. Nine. Well, matching each other through that uh, first three arrows. Uh, act to serve as uh, just calming them down a little bit. I was going to say that uh, de Klerk's uh, grouping, trying to find a little bit of difference between the two 28s, de Klerk's grouping, certainly through the first two arrows, was a, a little bit better, but uh, then shot an arrow a little bit wider. So really nothing between these two at the moment. No, nothing at all. And they both come into this match already having taken a, a gold medal together in the, the compound men's team event, uh, along with Christian's father, uh, Bayers. Christian also took a gold in the mixed team event at his championships earlier in the week with Janine van Kredenberg, who's seen win the compound women's gold already. But what I really want to say is how similar Christian Bayers de Klerk's technique is to his father. Um, it's the same kind of quick release. It looks like the same kind of hair trigger. Even the same kind of bar on the trigger, really thin. He's up there, he's settled, and then his thumb comes round and the arrow goes down range. It's, um, it's quite funny to see the, the similarity between father and son on the shooting line. That's one for us to look out for. Two athletes tied at 28 apiece. And it will be Richard Anderson to shoot first in the second. A 
right. Big movement there, forcing that one out left. You really saw him Nine try and line. save it a little bit, and that's that's unfortunate. But you can hear the wind picking up as well. And I don't know how much that's affecting them on the line compared to downrange of the target. Well, what it does mean is that uh, we are still all level with uh, both archers shooting another 28. Consistency is the key, Chris, you always tell me in uh, this magical sport. Seeing uh, a, a, some minor changes just in one arrow, in fact, I think, for both archers in uh, both of the ends so far. Especially in, a, in an event like this where we see, you know, not, not so many wide fields of the target. It's really easy to forget how far away they're shooting. 50 meters is a long distance. Um, and it, might look, it might look short when we're tight on the archer at full draw and then tight on the target. But this is still pretty consistent at <laughs> 50 meters away. We're not talking a huge spread of arrows. And, you know, that arrow that kind of really flung uh, left for Christian. And he tried to save it and push it back to the middle we're only talking 10 centimeters away from dead center it's really not that much at all and um, consistency is so minute and the, the inner battle to to to, uh, to be perfect in this sport is so internal that it's it's difficult to express you know the, those those tiny little changes that will make the difference down range and completely aside from that you know who else christian bars de clerk reminds me of when he's at full draw a uh, former world champion world archery champion at the end of the uh, from game, Canada, Christopher Perkins. He's got the same kind of high back elbow and high anchor position, and he's done very well with it. Well, nothing between the two South Africans in this gold medal match so far. Watching the 12th edition of these African Archery Championships, and we're about to go into the third end of the men's gold medal match. Nine. It's a close one. Eight Quick twist to the site after each shot from Anderson. Nine. to redraw here the time pressure now nine. recovers to get a nine nine so provisionally a one point lead now for Christian de Klerk Anything you see there going for a measure potentially, Chris? Oh, the top arrow from Christian Bears de Klerk, that second one. And if it's not given as a 10, that's another missed opportunity, especially after that last shot from Richard Anderson where you can see that arrow bouncing off the rest. He's got a blade style rest on, which is, um, you know, absolutely fine. It's, uh, it's very popular. It's uh, won world championships before, but if you're not smooth in your draw, if it's a bit of wind or you're, you're bouncing your bow around, it acts like a spring. So when you're pulling that arrow back, it can just bounce off. And, and with those nerves, with that time pressure, they've only got 20 seconds of shot. Remember, if things start to go wrong and you're, you're not used to that, that ticking, ticking clock in front of you, um, it can become you know, quite stressful. Yeah, he tried to sort of uh, laugh it off uh, and he did actually get, you know, get a nine out of it in the end uh, but another thing to take note of is look at those flags down the left hand side the flags blowing now from uh, right to left they were blowing towards us uh, a couple of minutes ago they were blowing towards the target but the windsock moving in a different direction well we have confirmation that it is a one point lead uh, for Christian de Klerk after three. So Richard Anderson shoots first in the fourth for the first time, trailing his teammate and opponent for gold. 
Yeesh. Opportunity here now. Eight. I wonder if that wind played a factor in those two shots. Ten. So you see, that's critical, not because he shot a 10, but because he shot a 7 the arrow before. Um, and, and, you know, the nerves, if things are going bad, yeah, without, the, without the relaxed time of the qualification round, it's all about getting your head back in the game fast. Eight, nine, nine. Ten. Good 10, taking that opportunity either way. An 8-9, the liner from Richard Anderson with his last arrow could prove critical with just one end to go. Is it going to be a three-point lead for De Klerk or just two? Did you get a feel for that last arrow? You know, it's funny. In the previous ends, Richard Anderson's arrows were were being pushed up and to the right and he was constantly clicking his sight over you know you, you wonder if uh, he was putting more pressure into the bow he was you know getting stressed getting more comfortable and then that first arrow of the last end went low left which is the exact opposite so it could be wind for sure it could be aiming could be something like that or it could be that the pressure of the match or even his comfort in the match had built up and his arrows were traveling one direction and then it all switched with that first arrow. And that's the challenge of shooting in an arena and, and not having shot an arena before because you don't know how your body reacts. You don't know what you need to do um, to, to, to stay on a level, uh, a level playing field. And that's again why it's so important that we have these uh, big events in Africa, these big events all around the world where these top athletes have an opportunity to, to compete against each other in front of the cameras and, and learn how it works. Yeah, it's hard to really describe, but we're in this bowl, as you can see, the, the banked ridges all the way around this stadium. It plays havoc with the wind, and it looks uh, seemingly still on the shooting line, but down the other end, it's uh, far That's from still. Game. You can now just start to see the flag blowing on uh, the clerk's uh, equipment, and just seeing a little bit blustery, but it's definitely not solid. Fifth and final end, Anderson trailing by two, shoots first. Nine. Needs to put down some tens really to put the pressure on. Nine. That is a great arrow at a critical time. And it looked comfortable too. Nine. So 27 to finish on a 136. 7 for the gold medal. Ten. And he's into the 10. What a great finish there. A 29 from Christian de Klerk for a 140 place 136 and more importantly the african championship title here in 2022 subject of course to confirmation but uh, that looks pretty clear cut to me chris